Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord who God's life. Baptism gets kind of a rough deal. It's hard to find comfort in your baptism in the face of a world that doesn't really see the point in it. Because they'll say, you can splash water on a kid if you really want to, but that won't make the child grow up to be rich or famous or powerful. That won't even vaccinate the child against disease. So, like, why? And honestly, it gets even harder to find comfort in your baptism when you want to live in the thing. But every single time baptism comes up, three denominations or more pop up and say, actually, or, or what about, and do their very best as if, to say that God almost has two distinct things going on here, one where he has his word to work and the other where he has baptism. And, you know, we, we sort of pick and choose. But here's the thing. God does not have two distinct wills, and they definitely don't work against each other because God is not schizophrenic. But even more so, here's the thing. Um, baptism and, and God's word, they're not different at all. They are literally the same thing. Because baptism is nothing more than God's word joined to water. God's word, which always does something joined to water. Whenever God's word is, he sort of gets his way. He sort of gets his will. Let there be light. And it was light. Your sins are forgiven you. They're gone. Today you will be with me in paradise. There you go. God's word works because he says so. He, he sort of gets his way every time he talks. It's sort of a perk about being divine. And it's the same thing when it comes to the sacrament. When God would take this word which does stuff and stick it in water, it's going to do something. What we wrestle with, though, is, is usually more the water. Luther points out that maybe we should be looking at the word. In the large catechism, he writes, Hence, also it derives its essence as a sacrament. As Augustine also taught, akedat verbum ad elementum ad fit sacramentum, that is, when the word is joined to the element or natural substance, it becomes a sacrament, that is, a holy and divine matter and sign. See, baptism is nothing more than plain old water plus God's word. And if you really have a problem with baptism, honestly, you don't have a problem with ritual. You do at least three rituals a day. I mean, you brush your teeth in a ritualistic way. You do it at the same time every time. And there's a lot of comfort in that. Rituals are, are pretty cool. Um, you don't have a problem with the water or you'd be dead because you need water to live. What you have a problem with is the only thing left, God's word which not only commands baptism, but even promises to work through it too. The real question is whether or not that water can contain God's word, which does stuff. He says it does. If you are a Christian and that water does contain God's word, you should want baptism. If you're not a Christian yet, that water does stuff. God's word is sharper than any two-edged sword. It accomplishes that for which he sends it. And God's word is intended to be given to sinners to save them. I'm not saying that since you have been baptized once, you've got all the word you need. I'm saying live inside of your baptism. In the same way that once you've been confirmed, you don't have all the God's word that you need, you should still continue to learn and grow in it. In the same way, God's word was given to actually be a comfort to sinners. Baptism is given to be a comfort to sinners and even more, a comfort that they can grab hold of. See, God would join his word to water because he did speak to a thief next to him on the cross and, and he did walk up to lepers and speak to them. But when we look around for him in this day and age, he has promised to work through the person of the Holy Spirit. He has promised to work inside of the church. He has promised to work inside of this water where he sticks his word so that we can touch it and actually know that we have it. Because if all you want to do is say, God spoke to other people and I wonder if I can be included in that, there's not a lot of comfort. But God wants his word to be given for you. And so he joins it into the water that you would actually touch it, splash around it, and know this is not just God's word in water. This is God's word for you in water because that water has been splashed all over you. And so you have everything that God's word would promise. You have forgiveness. You have life. You have salvation. You have a new identity in Jesus. You are what the word would say you are. And you can know that it's you because that water that God stuck his word in, that was put on you. And so you wear God's word and all the blessings that come with it.